a lot of folks reacting to the, <laughs> to the reaction in Minnesota, which, let's be honest, Timberwolves don't get to the postseason very often, right? They're back for the first time in four years. Patrick Beverly jumps on the table afterward. I want to hear somebody say, Minnesota, this is for you. Oh, man. But you know what, though? I got to say, that was a hell of an exciting game. It like, was a great that game. That was a yeah. fun game to watch. It looked like the fans were having an incredible time. Second postseason appearance since 2004 for the Timberwolves. Here's the man himself, Patrick Beverly <laughs> and Anthony Edwards. Uh, Is he drinking a cold one? I don't know today. what he's drinking. <laughs> the celebration and Susan, it seemed like you were feeling some emotions. Can you take us through just what you're feeling in that moment and kind of what's going through your head there? Um, man, we played a really good team. <clears throat> I'm going to try to sound real humble, but I know, you know, that's going to leave in about two seconds. But we, we played a real good team, well coached. Uh, <clears throat> obviously, emotions behind it, you know, uh, uh, former team. Man, I wanted this so bad. I wanted this one so bad. Uh, this is just the icing on the cake, the cherry on top, to play in, to be able to beat them. Um, I mean, another goal scratched off. I told you he was going to the playoffs. Everybody, most of y'all, y'all looked at me like I was crazy. When I first said that, I fucking told y'all. Pat, the way that you guys weathered all sorts of different storms within the game, like what did it take for you guys to pull that all together to get through each obstacle and, and get to the end, get over the hump? It's coaching, all coaching. You got to give Fincher a lot of credit. He put us in a position to be successful tonight. Uh, like I say, playoffs is when stars are made. This young man, I told him before the game, man, like a veteran, Francisco Garcia told me 10 years ago, my first playoff game, you go be very special in this league. And I told him the same thing. And he came out here, man, I was so proud of Ant. Came out here, he responded well, cat fouled out. 20 year old took over the game. So proud of him. Ant, you said you're made for these moments. Just can you take us through what you're feeling now just to, to, to be able to deliver, help deliver a win like this and what the, you know, jumping on the scores table, seeing the crowd and, Everything you're feeling, kind of? I put the work in. Uh, that's all I can say. And it's over now. We got to get ready for Memphis. Play Saturday. Did you did you just sense that you needed to take take the game at, at one point there? Uh, I took what the game gave me, uh, and that's what they gave me. Uh, they were scared to guard me, and I took advantage of that. It's not easy for your star player to you know, be in foul trouble for a lot of the game. How are you guys able to respond to that when that maybe might rattle some teams? Uh, we got players like uh, D'Angelo Russell yeah, that can take over the game and score the ball at a very high level. So when Cat fouled out, I think D'Lo took it upon himself to keep us in the game. Pat, what did you think of the entire team's defensive effort tonight? It really seemed like everybody, one through five, sat down and guarded. Yeah, that's what we've been doing all year. Uh, we've been, you know, uh, our coaching staff put us in a position to be successful, uh, especially the defensive schemes. Uh, <clears throat> obviously, everyone wasn't perfect, but... Man, you could tell we, it was just will tonight. You know, it was just will. We just wanted it more. We went out there. We competed. We didn't care who shot the ball. We didn't care what the stats were. Um, and the better team won today. I guess it's for the both of you. It, pretty historical imagery in the Minnesota franchise is Kevin Garnett standing at that same table that you two did. Does, does, was that on your, your mind at all when, when you did that and and just kind of – this new era that you guys are in? I ain't going to lie. That's been on my mind since I figured we was playing them. Yeah. I was, all I've been going to sleep saying, I'm going to hit a game with a shot, and I'm going to go jump on the table. I promise you, that was my thing when I woke up today. <laughs> right. I'm going to stand on that That's fucking scoreboard about, today. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. And then, and it was a it was a mixture of the attacking and the and the three-point shots. What? When you have the ball in your hands there, like, how does that decision-making process go of no what you need? Yeah, that's how I feel. No one can guard them. I've been telling them that all year. I don't care who plays. I didn't I done seen the best defensive guys. I'm one of the best defensive guys on earth. Uh, no one can guard him. And I just keep preaching that, preaching that to him. And, you know, he's been doing it all season. So credit to him, credit to his hard work, credit to his, his patience. You know, uh, obviously, you know, we have Carl Anthony Towns, uh, who we feature a lot. So credit to his patience uh, at a young age, understanding the game, being patient, understanding when to attack. Cat, Cat fouled out, him and D'Lo took over the game. So. Our young core, man. I mean, those you know, those three guys, man. We, we gonna be here for a while, you know. So I'm, I'm very excited, fan. I, I didn't mean to interrupt this question, but uh, I see the boy, man. He puts in a lot of work, fellas, ladies too. Also, he puts in a lot of work. Uh, some, you know, one of the first guys in the beginning of the year in the gym, 
you know, it's, it's time to go home. He's the last one in. He comes at night. <laughs> he brings his dog in there. He's in there. Yeah. Uh, so you got to give a lot of credit, man. This is his star. And I, this is his moment. He deserves all of it. This is his moment. My bad. <laughs> For either of you guys, uh, this game had kind of everything that might have derailed this team in the past, whether it be foul trouble, officiating. What do you mean the past? Fix that question. What do you mean past? Early in the season? Earlier, in, earlier in the season and last year. Uh, uh, fourth quarter comebacks from, from another team. Uh, how did you, how did, what does this say about the mental makeup of this team and where you are now and, and the growth that you've made that in a moment like this you were able to get it done and put all those things behind you? I, uh, I'm going to keep it short and simple. I just think uh, Finchie coached his ass off. <laughs> That's the best that I, I can tell you. Finchie did a great job, man. Like Pat said, coach of the year. Pat, what did you uh, – what's up, Pat? What's what, up, baby? What did you say to your old teammates at the end there when you were standing in front of the bench? Take their ass home. <laughs> Long flight to L.A., take y'all ass home. <laughs> you know, I'm, it, it, it's, it's deeper that for me. You understand? I gave my blood and sweat and tears to that organization. Uh, I mean, you guys know the story, especially you. Um, blood, sweat, and tears to just be ridden off like that. You know, uh, he's injury prone. He's old, this, this, that, that. To be able to come here, play them in a play-in, beat their ass. No other feeling, man. No other feeling. And on a side note, did you even know what was going on when that lady ran onto the court? I saw you go over there to check. I tried to help her. <laughs> I tried to just try to help her. I make sure she was okay. Pray for her, too. Yeah. Make sure she's okay. Did you know that she glued herself to the court? Yeah, hey, that's not none of my. I don't know what's going on. I just pray that she's okay. Yeah. And you kind of touched on it a moment ago, but going from your rookie year to this year and just the change you guys have been able to make, what do you think has just kind of been the, the catalyst to all of that? Uh, like Pat said, man, I put in a lot of work. Um, summertime, still now, I'm in there every night, every night, 9.30, 10.30, you know, no matter what time it is. Me and my trainer go in there every night, get a lot of shots up. Uh, sometimes we may go too hard, but it's no such thing. Hey, we and, lie. Hey, man, we lie. Hey, hey, say, what's <laughs> say what's up. Don't yeah, do, don't like do that. that. Hey, we just we're going to the playoffs. Play like that. Yeah. Oh, some LA people in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Y'all done? Yeah, they done. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah.